I know what you're thinking. What is this man doing to these drones again? Why can't he just leave them alone? Well, you're about to find out right now. Let's see what we've got going on in RC with Adam's DJI Chop Shop. In case you ever wanted to use eight bladed props on your Mini 2, don't. At least not with this propeller adapter, I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. They should work. Now they're really wobbly, but the idea is that they will straighten out as they start flying. There we go. Okay, here we go. Eight bladed props, taking off. Oh. <laughs> It just, it just whoop. Off the edge. Dang, man. I really thought that was going to work. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to RC with Adam's DJI Chop Shop. Taking things that are good and making them different. Uh, that's what we're doing today. I want to bring you along on a little experiment that I'm doing. I'm taking this 3D printable propeller adapter that I designed for the Mavic Mini back when I was making the Mavic Mini Sleeper FPV project, and I decided to dust off this design file, send it over to PCBWay, and have them print these for me in resin, the clear ones, and also titanium. But titanium turned out to be way too hard and stiff for this job because I needed the little center piece spring so thingies to be to more bend, springy, and it turns out they were just really stiff and also quite heavy. So those didn't really work out. They sound nice though, don't they? That's pretty cool. And we're gonna put these on the Mini 2 and see if we can put some eight bladed propellers on this thing and have it fly. What's it gonna do? Is it gonna work super well? Is it gonna be terrible? Find out right now, it's gonna be terrible. They should be on properly. They are really wobbly, but hopefully that will take care of itself. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. If you're interested in getting some 3D prints or other items rapidly prototyped for you, I'll show you what the process was for ordering these parts at the end of the video. I really thought this was gonna work. Here we go. No ready for this. It turns out that it actually is very hard for this thing to take off with these okay. propellers and all the weirdness that's going on with the adapters and the, the balance issues. I think it's causing some issues with the ESC, uh, like the motor timing, and also the, the flight controller is probably just confused as all get out. There we go. Okay, here we go. Eight bladed props taking off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just whoop, off the edge. Dang, man. I really thought that was going to work. Bummer. Um, I kind of had to rotate the propeller or rotate the motors to kind of get it in just the right position so that they would that all start up at once. Hmm. And eventually, it worked. Raising the throttle. Oh, oh, it's working. It's working. Whoa. Whoa. What? Look at that. Look at that. I feel like they could like fly off at any second though. Handling the wind okay. I feel like they're actually working. Sport 
stop and we'll come back. Oh wow, our flap kind of came up. A little battery hatch popped up. But this is actually working. Like, that's very surprising. Flap full forward. Well, hey, that was pretty cool. So this kind of works, sort of. It worked enough to get it to fly, which was a cool experiment. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna put these. Oh, that doesn't sound good, you hear that? Oh, listen to that. I have probably destroyed most of the motors or something. Something is wrong here. So that's pretty cool. That's okay. I'll swap them out or something. Uh, but the lesson here is sometimes even your crazy ideas can work really well. So thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. We're probably going to put these on another special Mavic Mini. Thanks for watching, everybody. Questions, comments down below. And I will see you again very soon. Now get out there and fly something. And now I'm going to show you what the process was like for ordering these parts from PCBWay. We're going to hop on PCBWay.com right here, and we're going to go to the CNC and 3D printing page. And in this case, I want to do 3D printing, so let's go to 3D printing. But they do have all these other services that you can check out. So now we just need to upload the file that we want to um, 3D print which is typically going to be an STL file, just like with your 3D printer. And so we're going to grab this um, Mavic Mini Propeller Adapter Test number 2 STL file. Just drag and drop right in there. And there we go. For the quantity, uh, we want, actually in this case, I think I want, uh, let's see, it's because there's going to be at least one per motor. I'm going to need at least eight so I have spares. So let's say eight. Uh, or can I do eight? All right, let's say 10. Okay, and then we have all these different options for um, how we want these to be. Now, it would be cool to make these out of aluminum. However, with the way that I've designed it, the parts need to, um... oh, that'd be cool to make some out of aluminum. All right, let's do this. Here's an idea. Let's do five out of aluminum, because I think that would be really cool. Or what if I did a titanium? Could I do that? Is that possible? Is that possible? I don't know. It's really expensive, though. That's for sure. All right, so we're going to do... Hmm, titanium would be really cool, just to say that we did. All right, let's do titanium. Uh, surface finishes are not an option. Um, we don't need any of these other things. That's really it. So for titanium, we don't have any other options. So let's scroll down to the bottom. We're going to select that same file, and I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. And this is going to be our second order. Um, we're going to do a quantity of five. And let's do a different material. Let's do something like um, maybe a, a nylon. Wait, nylon, polycarbonate. Mm, polycarbonate. So what's what I like about how they have this set up is down here it'll, it'll show you the material and you can click on the description and it will show you a closer up view and it will tell you kind of the the special features of that material. So accuracy, durability, stability, creating strong parts with that withstand functional testing, polycarbonate. So you know what about what about nylon? What's nylon's thing? Nylon is a variety of materials that can meet requirements. Uh, the parts have excellent impact resistance, can be used repeatedly for a long time, have excellent heat resistance, and do not deform. That sounds pretty good, too, honestly. Um, that does sound pretty good. And then we have different options. So PA12, that's a different material of that nylon. High strength, impact resistant, uh, most common 3D printing material. Okay, pipes, housings, complex assemblies. All right, that sounds pretty good, actually. Let's do this. Let's try this last option here. Mixed with 35% glass fiber, this material has higher strength and higher heat resistance than nylon. It's very suitable for testing functional parts. You can use this material to move, make movable chains or spring items. That sounds like what we want. That sounds good. So for this one, we're going to go with uh, nylon material and then the specifically glass fiber nylon PA12 plus 35% GF. Um, and can we do dark black with dyeing? Let's try Let's do... <clears throat> let's try dark black maybe that'll give us kind of 
a uh, a better finish there. Um, and actually, what do we want to do for the for the finish? Dying. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's dying it to dying. Oh, interesting. Is that even an option? Dying sounds better because I think a finish will probably wear off, and that could change the um, the structural application there. So uh, we could do black, but you know, let's make it interesting with a color. Okay, let's do uh, what's that color? Uh, it looks kind of weird. Let's do mm, like a blue color. I like blue. Blue is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like blue. Let's go with that blue. Okay, so we're gonna, so it says dark black, the dyeing process, and then for the dyeing process, it's blue, or process blue, okay. So, yeah, we'll give that a try. Okay, that's all we need for this one as well. We don't need any of the other options. And let's see, wall thickness risk taken. What's this one? I haven't seen this one. I guess we'll check it. I guess that way the, then they'll say like, okay, well, we're just going to print it. Even if it seems like it might not work, we'll give it a try. I guess that's what that means. All right, I decided to make a little change here. So we're going to do the Mavic Mini Propeller Adapter. Um, this one, we're going to do resin printing. And let's actually do the transparent uh, clear material because I think that's going to look really cool. All right, so let's scroll back up to the top here. And here we have the subtotal kind of the 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 quote is uh two hundred and fifty three dollars and twenty nine cents wowzers so fifty nine for the first five of those twelve forty five for the second which is that's funny it costs a lot less and then one hundred and eighty one dollars for those guys for the glass fiber nylon um that's quite a specialty thing isn't it so uh that's it that's all we've got so now we're gonna click and this is a pre quotation for reference only. So it may be more or less uh, once they actually take a look at the order. So let's hit submit request. And in my case, I'm going to sign in. But if you are new, you can uh, sign in here and get a $5 welcome bonus. And that's all there is to it. Now that they're, the status is being reviewed, so we're just gonna have to wait a little bit, um, probably a couple hours, I think, uh, or, or maybe less. Um, to see whether or not they, they think that they can actually print these and get um, a more accurate price. If this sounds interesting to you, go check out PCBWay.com. I'll have a link down in the description below this video. We'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles.